<laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's see. Let's see which one we pick. Wait a second. So we are painting this. Yes. So you have to pick one of the artworks from Oscar and I will pick one as well. And we both paint them just a little bit more professional and add all the 3D stuff and okay. all our skills in it. Uh, this, this one, one is good. It's, it's good, but yeah, Killer Clown. I, I, I you go with the Killer Clown. Ooh. I would love to pick this one. This is my choice. Does does he have a name? Does he Lava Claw passt besser. This is Lava Claw, and he got Killer Claw. <laughs> Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. My name is Smo, this guy behind me is Doke. And together we're Smoke. Now we will drive to Belgium and paint the characters of my son Oscar with spray paint to one of the walls in the abandoned factory. Okay, we are there. This is the place. Tusa is already there. Welcome to Belgium. But for good shots, we need to do this one first. So, do you feel safe? Not really. <laughs> That was stressful. <laughs> Good! The wall is prepared! Let's paint Killer Clown and Lava Claw! Yes. <laughs> this is what I like so much about painting together with Doak. We are always having fun. He has absolutely no problem to do the dirty work as well. And as he is a professional YouTuber, there is always something unexpected happening. that I will definitely paint this one in a more dynamic pose. More like, like with one hand going up like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he is lava claw. Mm -hmm. Will you do it as well? I already told about the, the hands. Yeah. But mine is a clown, so he can do whatever he wants. He's a clown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the first line. Because I don't feel very confident right now. Because just I just don't. So let's just do this. The easy thing about this is I just have to start with a big egg. While Doke did not feel that super inspired, I absolutely felt this character. The spikes, the claws. I absolutely knew what Oscar wanted to paint and how it would look like after 28 years of practice. Because when I was at his age, I was painting monsters all day. I was absolutely the same. More teeth, more spikes, glowing eyes and lots of muscles. This is what a good monster needs. What I also liked about Lava Claw is that it has such a clear color concept. Red shields, black spikes and the movable parts like arms and legs 
and the head are in light grey and that's it. To be able to shade the spikes later, I decided that I will paint them in a dark grey instead of pure black. And of course we both felt free to add a little details to it, so we didn't want to keep it 100% like the design from Oscar, and this is why Doak also added a rocket to the back of his character. After the first lines there's always this part that is work and it is filling in all the spaces. Even if I tried to give the character some light reflections within the fill-in already, I had a special idea about the shadows within the character. But first I needed to paint this beige drop shadow to the wall so that it all gets a little bit of a three-dimensional effect. For the outlines I wanted to try a new cap. This is such a snorkel cap. But um, I tried it because I wanted to work with a hatched shading within the character to give it some sort of a comic look. And the snorkel cap is really really nice to make super super accurate thin lines, even if they're a little bit dirty, but this doesn't matter in this size. What I really like about the Killer Clown from Doak is that his teeth are so much more pointy than the ugly teeth from the original <laughs> Killer Clown. Who should better go to a dentist? To make the spikes and the whole character even more three-dimensional, I added a secondary light source from the bottom and uh, this makes this blue reflections all over the character. Yeah, and fire. Of course, this is Lava Claw and of course Lava Claw is burning from inside. <clears throat> The most fun was painting the claws of Lava Claw. I did not use any white in the whole character to make sure that the claws glow the most at the end. And these fades with fluorescent orange and sharp white spikes was just the special touch that Lava Claw needed. Oh, needed? Did I say needed? I need to tell you something. I'm running out of prints. There are only 10 pieces of the glow-in-the-dark alphabet letterpress print left, 8 prints of the beautiful Wolkenross Jiggly print and the Alpha 2 letterpress print is also slowly getting to an end. And I can understand that because these prints are damn beautiful. And my wife always packs them with so much love. Yo, this was just a quick reminder so that you can't say that I didn't warn you. Check out smonova.de and use this chance. Save your perfect gift idea now because we all have birthday next year, you know? And then you can say, in the Lava Claw video there was this advertisement. Yo. Okay, back to the video. smonova.de Lava Claw has five eyes, but one of his eyes is covered by the big horn in the middle of his head. 
I add a little bit of shine here and there, a little greeting uh, to the family, and of course to the YIC crew. Yay! And because there was still some room and half of an hour left until the kids will arrive, including my wife, I added some logos, the Smoska, the Smoska logo. It's a combination of Smo and Oscar, because this is a Smoska production. I'm done. I think I'm done. Dog is nearly done as well. Now we're just waiting uh, for my wife to arrive, including Oscar, and we are really looking forward to his reaction. A few moments later. The magic moment. My wife and the kids are coming. I'm so curious what Oscar will say. <laughs> <laughs> This was a great success. Um, my kids could not have been more happy about this and they said, oh, we want to do it again. And I want to say a big thanks again to my patrons um, who support me each month with just five bucks. Thanks so much for helping me to make video projects like this possible. Thank you. And also I want to thank my friend and crew member Doak for joining this funny video idea. And Tösa for helping us recording several other projects like the speed battle. <laughs> ah, and there also was this giant facade that we painted the days before. So if you want to see more smoke content, check out the playlist. With it is linked over there. Okay, I would say it's all in all a great and successful project. Yes. I uh, hope you were a little bit entertained and uh, please don't forget to like the subscribe button and I hope to see you next Saturday in the next project. Good. All of them are made to kill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got a very violent kid. Yeah, but we had the same situation when we were recording the video with 1000. Yeah. Everything was so violent. Everything was so violent. Exploding heads. The yeah. turtle was killed by a rocket <laughs> and it exploded. Yeah, this was funny. Okay. Let's go!